when you're working with Laravel, there are a couple ways to run your tests against a database. So usually your feature tests, they create some data and they do some assertion on it, or you call an uh, endpoint and you assert that the response was what you expect. And to do that, you need the database. And there are a couple of ways you can achieve uh, having your database up to date with your recent migrations and things like that. And the most common way is using the refresh database trait, which does that automatically for us. Um, so for instance, I have here my SQL in a Postgres uh, database running. Um, in, your lo in our local config, we have correct credentials. I'm using root here because I'm going to demonstrate um, some new package, so yeah, bear with me. Um, and we, so to use the, to run the test, we just run PHP unit and that should run normally. But sometimes you, when you have multiple, uh, when you have multiple feature tests, your test might get uh, a bit slower to run your whole entire test suite. suite. And one of the ways to to don't to stop worrying about this, or actually to improve your test speed, is actually to parallelize it. And there is a tool called a bar test, which does that, and it's great. But there is one gotcha with Laravel: like you can using the refresh database, you can actually run bar test because. Part of the refresh database, uh, what the refresh database trait does is it it actually runs um, migrate fresh. If we can check, check, we can check it here. Refresh test. Yeah, so it runs the migrate fresh once, and since PHP unit only has one process, uh, that's fine because it only runs once. Uh, for the entire test suit, sweet, but uh, once you try to run it in parallel using Paratest, something like Paratest, what it, Paratest actually does, it, it spins up some processes to run your test. So like, for instance, the default uh, configuration we will use, uh, we'll split the tests uh, per test case. So each file, uh, like you have five process by default and it will uh, group the test case in these processes to parallelize it and then it aggregates the, the output for those. The thing is, since we are using the same database with the refresh database trait, one test in one process might uh, migrate, like it will run the refresh, migrate fresh for each, for each process. And since we, uh, we can have con conflicts, like some race conditions, like one process is trying to migrate fresh while the other is already using the database. So the tables will not be there and tests will fail. There is like, if we try to run it here, I already have it um, as a dependency. So if we try to run it here, we can see it will fail. Yeah, you see the table was not found probably because some other process somewhere dropped the table while this one was actually using it. There is a quite simple solution for this, which is to actually run, uh, like I'm going to replace the refresh database with uh, database transactions. And let me just, remove this, this is for not something else. 
Um, so yeah, by just by doing that, we avoid actually running migrate fresh from the tests. So our PHP unit tests still runs normally, but it doesn't automatically migrate the, the test database anymore. Um, and part of test will also work because since we are not migrating fresh on each process, the tables are already there. So it just wraps it in a transaction. So that's, that keeps working. The thing is, um, you, you need to migrate the database yourself, which is not ideal for me because like in this setup, it's not a big deal because we are using the same local database for testing and for our local environment. But ideally, you might want a different database. You don't want your local data set affecting conflict, creating conflicts with your uh, test data. So what you ideally want is one database for testing. And that's pretty easy to achieve. We can just create a new service here, like testing MySQL or testing Postgres. And that would be fine, but then you, you would have to, as I said, migrate it manually, which is not ideal. Like you would have to change your database name or your database host here to actually point to the test database and run the migration manually. And then only then you would be able to to actually run the, data, the, the migration commands. Or you could have a different environment variable here, like .env.testing, which points to the correct database. And you would run like this. That's fine, but I like to keep my testing environment variables in PHP units. And we can really use it outside of PHP units this environment variables. So this would force us to move this to a separate .env file, which, well, it's not ideal to me, to be honest. So I'm going to revert the changes here. And I was trying to check how, like, Rails 6 red has this feature for parallel test parallelization, and I was a few weeks ago, I was testing it, and what I noticed was Rails actually automatically creates, like it, it parallelizes pretty much the same way that uh, Paratest does. But what, what it does is it creates one test database for each process that's running the tests. So I was, this way you, you avoid uh, conflicts between processes writing to the same database and things like that. Um, I was wondering if we could have that for Laravel or PHP, and it turns out it actually is possible. So I, there's, I've been working on this package, but it's not ready yet, so um, it's a proof of concept, but what you can, uh, I already have it pulled here, and all the tests are using the Laravel uh, refresh database trait. What it what it does, what you can do now is is a command here to replace it with our test feature, test a trait. So I'm gonna run that. Yeah, as you can see, uh, it replaced all the refresh database from Laravel with our own uh, refresh database trait. Even here. Yeah, even there. Okay, so let me demonstrate it. So I'm gonna start a teamwork section and I'm gonna log into the database. Show databases. So we have a, the example DB here, and I'm gonna run PHP unit and things should just work. But what you will notice is that it will actually create one database for testing. 
Um, that's where it finished. Uh, what? That's cool. Uh, the database is still uh, this is still here, but there's a way to delete it. Um, what is cool about that is that if I run power test now, um, it's going to spin up eight processes. So what you can see in the database level is that it actually creates um, eight, seven. Yeah, it creates uh, one database for each process. Uh, that's what this, this is probably because there are some tests that don't use the database. So it creates one test, one debit test for each process that has tests that actually uses the database. So this is fine. But like the, the as you can see, the test finished and you, the database is still hanging here. That's fine, but yeah, that is a way to actually run a cleanup state, which you just have to specify the power test uh, Laravel runner. And that's it. Yeah. So it what you it, this will do is it will still create the database, but at the end of the test, it actually cleans up the testing database, so it you don't have test database hanging in round so that's fine and I also that's nice and also I want to demonstrate that it actually works with Postgres so yeah let me change the configs here and actually use Postgres okay so if I try to log in as Postgres on your yeah. So if I list the database here, I only have the example database, which is created by the container. But if I now run PHP unit, right, it's actually running against the database. So we can what you can actually see is created the test uh, database for us. And it will preserve the collate and um, encoding that you configure in your database configuration file for each, for any, like it, right now it only works for MySQL and Postgres, but the idea is that uh, we can implement other drivers and if I run Parallel Test now, I'm going to run it with the default process, which is four. Um, so you can see that it actually creates uh, four database tests, uh, test databases. And uh, the databases are still hanging in there. But when, when you run the Parallel uh, Test, a lot of uh, Runner, it actually it will, as I said before, it will get clean up the stale testing databases, just like Rails does, which is awesome. If you ask me. Um, the package also uh, add, creates some add some CLI commands for you, so you can actually see this here. There is a command, artisan command to create a database, the database to drop it and to recreate it, which just calls drop and then create again. <laughs> and you can run the, in dry mode, the, the command in dry mode. So you can actually see the SQL that will run, will be used to create the database. And as you can see here, I'm going to switch, to switch back, back to my SQL so you can see that the command is, SQL command is actually different. So yeah, for each one, it compiles to a different uh, create uh, SQL command. So yeah, that's 
what I got so far. Hope you like it.